how they're do-it-yourselfers. Today we're going to be taking a look at, and we're also going to show you how to install Red Arc's panel mount for the button for the Topro Elite or for the Topro Liberty. The one I'm holding in my hand here, this is the Topro Elite switch. It's a little bit smaller than the Liberty's. Here's the Liberty switch. So you can see that the Elite here definitely is going to have a smaller footprint, but both of these are going to work with our uh, mount there. So we're going to start with the Elite. We'll just go ahead and show you that here real quick. We're going to unscrew the nut. When installing the Elite in there, you do want the thicker part here down towards the bottom. And that'll just slide in the back there. We'll put our nut on there and secure it down. And it screws in very easily into this mounting location, which is one of the reasons I like it. The Topra Elite here, the nut is a plastic nut, so it's actually strips and breaks fairly easily. So having a nice mounting location that it threads into easily can help you prevent you from cross threading it or damaging that nut because it does break pretty easy. And after that, we're just going to install our knob. We'll turn it fully counterclockwise, line the zero up at the top, and slide that into place. And then just verify your button clicks. And with this mounting location here, if you got the nut, the nut tightened down and you didn't cross thread it, everything should work out very well. I like this mounting location, uh, this mounting button, because sometimes your panels here, depending on their thickness, you may not be able to press the button if the panel is too thick. So this way, if we use this mounting location here, it's already going to give us a preset mounting thickness here on the, the button mount. So you know it's going to work no matter what. So I do like that. That kind of turns any panel into a usable panel, even if it may be a quite a thick paneling. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull this off of here and then we'll show you the Topro Liberties. And for both the Topro Elite and the Topro Liberty, if you did use a socket, you would use a 12 millimeter socket. I don't necessarily recommend it with these plastic buttons, but if you wanna just put a little extra little, maybe like a 16th of a turn type of thing on there, then you would be okay, or for removing it, uh, it works well for removing it. So we're going to set that aside. Now we're going to grab our Topro Liberty button. The Topro Liberty is a little bit different than the Topro Elite. You can see it's much bigger. We're going to slide the button off of there. This one does have a chrome nut. It, uh, it looks like it's made of metal, but it's very light and it can be difficult to tell. It kind of feels like it's just a plastic with a chrome coating on it, um, but it may be a it may be like an aluminum or light metal. Now this ring you have here with the Topro Liberty, this is what you would normally use to mount it. You can see it's got the alignment hole at the top for the LED. If you're using the button here, we don't want to use this ring. This doesn't, doesn't really fit in there. So just set that off to the side. That's for if you're doing a bare mount. With our Topro Liberty, the LED indicator is at the top, unlike the Topro Elite where the LED is made into the shaft portion of it. So that little LED at the top needs to line up with that small hole that's at the top of our button there. So we're gonna go ahead and slide that in now. That lines right up on there. And we just take our nut and thread it into place. And I can't quite get that one all the way snug, so we'll grab our 12 millimeter socket, and that's as far as I'm gonna tighten it there, because we don't wanna over tighten it. So now we're gonna take our knob here, just barely push it on there just enough, and turn it all the way counterclockwise. Once you've got the knob there turned fully counterclockwise, we're gonna take the button here, put the zero at the top, line it up with that little LED indicator, push it into place. And again, verify you can press the button, but that's why this mount's so nice. It should give you the proper depth for our button to press nicely. And it gives us a nice uh, mounting location that almost looks like it's a factory piece that was just supposed to be there. What else is nice about these pieces is while we mounted ours by drilling into the paneling, which you can do because it is a universal mount, it is also a knockout replacement. So if you do have some knockouts, like uh, some vehicles have like a, a row of buttons in a row and you can knock out one of the, the blanks if there's not a button there, maybe because there's a certain option their vehicle could come equipped with, but they don't have it you can knock those out and a lot of times this will slide in place. Now this is a universal one though. So different manufacturers do use slightly different size knockouts with slightly different indentations on them. So you may have to modify that hole a little bit in order for this universal one to, to fit. 
We do also have some custom fit knockout uh, red arc brackets here at e-trailer that for these mounting buttons um, but it is kind of limited so you just want to check our fit guide and see if there is one available if not then you can use this one here and that completes our look at red arcs panel mount for the topro elite or topro liberty button